theorem if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of a right angle of a right triangle to the hypotenuse of the triangle then the triangles on the both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and to each other consider a triangle abc draw a perpendicular bp from the right the word the vertex where it is 90 degree so from 90 degree or b we are drawing a perpendicular to ac what is given is triangle abc similar to triangle apb when you name this you should be very careful for the first one a is common so and b and p are 90 degree so a should come together like this and b and p together and the last vertex you can write as it is one is c other is b so triangle abc similar to triangle apb and next one is triangle abc similar to bpc see here c is common b we can't say it is common because it is becoming two here dividing as two so we can't take it together so what we have taken here is triangle abc similar to triangle bpc same way last one what we have said now is full big triangle is similar to each of the small triangles and each of the small triangle is also similar to each other so when you name that also we should be careful apb apb then p is the 90 degree you should write p together then you should start here bpc no angle is common here because here we can't say it is common it is dividing as two so when you start from a it is apb and bpc only p is common only 90 degree is common so what i said is if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right triangle then both the triangles are similar to the whole triangle and both the triangles are also similar then we are going to prove the pythagoras theorem theorem is this in a right triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides which you have already learned so the square of the hypotenuse hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to the 90 degree so when you consider triangle abc b is 90 degree so ac is the hypotenuse the square of the hypotenuse that means ac square is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides ab square plus bc square for this what you have to do is draw bd perpendicular to ac if bd is perpendicular to ac we can write triangle abc similar to triangle adb so what we can write us if these two are similar these two are similar using the previous theorem these two are similar we can write the corresponding sides are in proportion so ab by ab by ad is equal to ac by ab we need actually ab square for that we are taking ab by ad is equal to here ab is there so ac by ab so we can write ab square is equal to ac into ad that is the first equation similarly what what we have we have applied is triangle abc similar to this triangle then we have to use this triangle abc similar to triangle bdc so here we need bc so bc by dc 
BC by DC is equal to here also BC. So, AC by BC. So, we can write BC square is equal to AC into DC. When you add 1 and 2, we can write One plus two gives AB square plus BC square is equal to AC into AD plus AC into DC. This is equal to we can take AC out AC into AD plus DC. What does AD plus DC? It is again AC. So we can write. AC into AC which is equal to AC square. So, this is a required result. AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. So, what we have done is we have proved the Pythagoras theorem. It is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of the other two sides. For proving we have considered a triangle ABC right angle at B. We have to prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So, what we have done is we have drawn a perpendicular BD from B to AC. So, what we can say is triangle ABC similar to triangle ADB. From that, we have written a relation AB square is equal to AC into AD. The next one is triangle ABC similar to triangle BDC. From that we got BC square is equal to AC into DC. So, when you add these two we got AC into AD plus DC but AD plus DC is AC. So, we can write AC square. So, the result is AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square.